We've just heard that the Nigerian Minister for Straits of State for Petroleum has reiterated the determination of the FG to ensure that the country will reach a zero level flaring. But what policies and practices do you think the government should put in place? Hello, Fenley. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's this is a very important area for my for my point of view, especially within the area of CDM. I think one of the things that uh, potentially has been missed is the ability of CDM to assist the uh, gas flare reduction process. Now, using the uh, CDM, which is part of the carbon credit mechanism, essentially from reducing the amount of gas flaring, you can derive another source of revenue by essentially uh, using the carbon revenues that you derive to ensure that, uh, uh, that the revenues overall for these types of projects come up to a level which, uh, which certainly encourages people to come into the marketplace. Now we've just heard as well that the government is doing everything possible to ensure a green economy for Nigeria. How true is that? Well, I, I think certainly there have been uh, a number of uh, important developments in the last, in the last few years. Uh, certainly there's now what's called a designated national authority uh, within Nigeria and also a climate change commission has also uh, been approved within the country. So uh, institutions like that, the idea of institutions like that is that they assist with devising the policies and practices uh, and, and help, if you like, uh, to act as a source of information for businesses who are looking to get into, uh, into renewable energy or, uh, or greenhouse gas reduction type projects and certainly uh, as I said using things like the CDM, the, the Clean Development Mechanism or carbon credits um, th that's another good source of additional revenue which usually gets a lot of these projects over what you might call the hurdle rate of return that they require to get into this market and that's the whole point if you like of the, of the, uh, of the, of the CDM. Well, well let's look at the Climate Change Commission. What impact have they made? What changes have they brought forward thus far? Well, certainly the Climate Change Commission has been involved in, uh, in improving uh, a number of projects in the, within the CDM. Um, a number of the projects we've had in Nigeria, and I know in particular you're referring to the, uh, the Minister of State for Petroleum, a number of those projects have been uh, put in place because they were gas flare reduction uh, projects and uh, one of them uh, led to something like 2.7 million uh, tonnes of, of, uh, of, uh, of, of, of gas, if you like, reduction. Uh, or CO2 reduction in the atmosphere. Now that's quite significant uh, for one project uh, and over the space of 10 years you're talking about you know, 27 million tonnes of, of gas reduction there. With a number of, of other uh, projects like that coming on stream, um, uh, I think the, the, the quantum of gas flare reduction uh, that you'll see will be quite significant. And of course, from the point of view of the country, uh, the gas that's been flared has led to, of course, has had an environmental impact which has been uh, quite Quite detrimental to various parts of the country, and uh, and hence, one of the ways in which you can uh, you can certainly reduce the amount of uh, pollution in, in those areas is to use um, these gas flare reduction um, techniques and and and, uh, and processes. Well, and the and the and the and the climate change commission, of course, is an area where various companies can go to get the information on exactly how to establish these types of projects. Yeah. And of course, uh, going to a number of the financial institutions who can also derive the financial structures in order to, to incorporate the revenue streams from, from carbon uh, into the overall Yeah, uh, well, Mui, Mui what's the potential regarding the extraction of gas in the country? Well, certainly, uh, as I said, there's been, uh, there have been about two or three fairly large projects. Now, overall, 180 trillion cubic uh, uh, metres of gas uh, available as reserves in this country. Um, as I said, one project on its own um, led to 2.7 million tonnes reduction per annum. Uh, if you could bring a lot more of those projects on board via the use of things like the, uh, the CDM and via the use of the Climate Change Commission, uh, then the impact would be significant. But I must say at the moment it's, uh, it's an ongoing process um, which uh, we want to see many more companies coming into in this respect. Well, where are the gaps within this industry? Is it the concern with infrastructure? Is it stimulus? Where are the gaps? Well, certainly, I think uh, I believe that the, the, with regards to financing, I believe that uh, a lot of the companies are not uh, not comfortable with the sorts of uh, financial structures that are in place if they do get into this industry. Of course, it's very expensive, 
um, to, uh, if you like, put the infrastructure in place, um, especially a lot of it uh, you would potentially think would be off taken by the government in terms of developing the electricity uh, infrastructure. And uh, I think uh, you know, there are challenges certainly in the Nigerian context with that. Um, so as more of those uh, structures start to come into place for independent power uh, stations, if you like, and also for the use of government in increasing the amount of electricity that goes into the, uh, into the circulation and the population, I think you will find that more of these uh, uh, gas type projects will, will come on stream. Well, how long do you think it will take for the gas sector within Nigeria to be up and running properly? Oh, now that's a question. Um, how long will it take? Well, I think uh, it's an ongoing process. Um, I wouldn't like to speculate on how long it will take because I think that's, uh, that, that's probably going to be outside of, of an area that I would, uh, I would be able to accurately uh, um, uh, suggest, if you like. All right, but, uh, maybe. We I, I certainly think, yeah. All right, that's I fine. I certainly think that uh, we'll see it, you know. Okay.